Yo, 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 what is up guys? Guess who's again here? The fresh look at the fresh three new games. I hope you all been very good these past few days and now you're happy and you're full of power to have a look at the new games that I prepared for you today. We have three amazing games. The first one of them is, ooh, what is this? It's Serene Fate. The second game, Subsistence. And the third, The Big Food. Three amazing games. We have not much time left before the start, so let's roll it! So our first game of the day is Serene Fate. If you enjoyed games like Stray Wally, Harvest Moon and perhaps even Pokemon, then you might enjoy Serene Fate. It combines the pet collection of Pokemon with the farming and the combat close to something like Stradio or Harvest. The Serene Fate stones has turned into the witch. Now it's time to learn some magic, tidy up your Apicians hut and find a few battle-worthy familiars with your new spells, a couple Cooper and some unique friends. Can you brave the land? It will be dangerous. That being said, the game is still very much in the development as of writing the review. So please keep in mind that you can decide to go for it or not. My recommendation is obviously to go for it. It's not complete, there are issues and there are regular updates as well. The game does not hold your hand at the all and I'm not even sure if it is was initially created that way. At the times it leaves you wandering around assembling hours only to realize slightest bleep in their mind that was in fact a secret that must be interacted to advance the story. Personally, I enjoyed it and I'm excited to see what it ends up. I hope the developers give up a tiny bit more direction when it comes to the story and maybe adjust the paths, not to have an occasional freak out during the combat. The game is still in early access, but you can do so much in it that it could actually take like a full game. My friend played around 46 hours and he still hasn't finished with all his playthrough. I'm excited to see what happens. And let's have a look at two another games. For the first game of the day, Serene Fate Early Access earns its 5 stars out of 5. Let's move on. So my second game of the day is Subsistence. Subsistence is a sandbox first person solo and co-op and also PvE open world survival game. A little bit something similar like DayZ, but let's look closely to it. Struggle through the changing seasons to build a base, develop technology and cheer up in the hostile environment. This is what they say on their Steam page. In reality, I can say one sentence. I actually like the game. I have spent some time in there and especially after updates, you see the changes that the development team is keep on making. There is a lot of things to like about the game, Saltitude being one of them. I love sandbox games, but sometimes you just don't want to mess with other players. I sometimes keep the hunters off, while well, you can gain some items from them and risk and reward in this game is kind of lacking in the current form, so this is something that the team needs to work on. I really think that there is more option than biofuel needed to be added. Even when in distillery you can make an alcohol for molotov coal caves, why can't it be used for the generators? Turn up amount of the trickle power for the solar panels, wine gens create and it has nice to them, but they're expensive and they don't pay off in their cost. Not only if the um, road is to let down, but the gain seeds from the apples allowed for the trees have made them for the harvesting. Strawberries need to be able to be planted and harvest as well. While time does move quickly in the game, slow the rate of hunger and trees down of nature too. Really it's a good game, you just need a tweaking and some resource boxes need to be in more. But the potential, potential is really very very huge. So let's have a look at this game in the perspective of something that can be in the future, like a flower. I would give it 3.5 out of 5 just because of how good potential of this game can be even to get to the 5 stars. And for the last game of the day we have Bigfoot. So Bigfoot is something that we all been looking always in the GTA games. Yeah, 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 you remember all these cool and funny, you know, Easter eggs in GTA. So Bigfoot is one of the, uh, honestly, my favorite games for the friends. So when you have the party with four people, Bigfoot is the perfect option. Basically, it's a survival game that can remind you of something like maybe slender but in a cooperative way where you literally need to survive till the next day 
when it comes up to the night, the Bigfoot is coming in and believe me, this guy will get you. The way how well the EI made in this game is actually amazing, he's constantly being improved. There is obviously some glitches with the collision from the game, but come on. For an er early access and the game that is made by such a small development team, it's actually great. The game is actually buggy, it's obviously not perfect, there is some things that are kind of not working very well, but believe me, this game will make you laugh and cry every time, every time you're gonna go. Even if you're gonna go to play some solo or with the randoms, this can give you a very very good memories. And in the end of the day, what is the most important thing what we want from the games? Is the memories and emotions. This game does it very well. So we have the very very well built system where you can enable some traps, you can make and groove for some new resources, you can build up your base, so basically to make everything to defend yourself against this big, big, massive guy that might actually exist and be behind you right now. Ooh, never mind. Yeah, so Bigfoot, for being a glitchy, but at the same time a very, very, very fun game, it would get a Mark V for me. I can't even say much about the mechanics and the things in this game because this is something that you need to look at yourself. This is just a pure recommendation from me. Not going into deep that much. Just few words. Survive till the sunset. This is what I can say. So 5 out of 5 for the Bigfoot. Don't even ask me why, just look at the gameplay, it's so hilarious. This was me and this was our 3 games of the day. Guys, I'll be very happy to see you in the next video. Bye, bye.